going up to people like, hey, you wanna be my friend? Like, I'm not doing that. So. Yeah. I got diamonds, do it since he's both in both ears. Guys, filming on the love, thank you, strip tonight. Hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Brianna Nicole. If you're not new here, welcome back. If you guys haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And we're gonna get right into this video. <clears throat> Today's video, I'm going to do a college tag. So I'm going to be answering questions about college. If you're interested, keep watching. If you're not interested, I'll just tell you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you go though. So yeah, we're gonna get right into the video. All right, so these questions I got from other YouTubers. Like I just searched some YouTube videos and I got these questions basically from there. So to start, I am a graduate student at Norfolk State University. I am getting my master's in media and communications. Um, I should and I will, I'm a student of existence. I will be graduating in May 2023 with my master's in media and communications. I already have my bachelor's in psychology. I graduated with that in 2021 in May. For the first question, <clears throat> it is how spread out are your classes and do you have a lot of free time in between? So I only have classes right now on Tuesdays and Wednesdays at 5.30 p.m. For undergrad, it will definitely be different. Um, most graduate courses are in the evening, so if you're a grad student like I am, your classes will most likely be in the evening. Um, I feel like normally at 5.30, because last semester my classes were at the same exact time, so I don't see any other classes like later than that, maybe like six, but <clears throat> for the most part, it's 5.30. So I do have a lot of free time, also because I don't really have a job right now, but I have like, outside of school, I do have a lot of free time, which gives you more time to do your schoolwork anyway. So it's not even like, really it's not free time because you're, you're doing schoolwork regardless. So my classes are Tuesday, I have, I'm in three classes. One is online, so that's like, you basically just log on, see what you have to do, and then there'll be like due dates. So for my one online class, most of my schoolwork is due on Monday or on Mondays. And Tuesdays and Wednesdays is when I have 5.30 classes and just one. So I don't have class on Tuesday until 5.30 and then I don't have class on Wednesday until 5.30. Then after that, I really have the whole week to do my work. And it's great because I can actually take my time and focus on each class individually. And I think that's like a really good thing. The next question is the food at college and what do I rate it? So the food here is not that bad. When you um, live on campus, there are, <clears throat> you get meal swipes and I have meal swipes. And then you also get like a certain amount of money that you can use at like, so we have Chick-fil-A, we have Tropical Smoothie, um, there's a hibachi. I don't know if that's all of them because I just came here in January So I really I've only been to like those places that I just named. I don't know if there's more But I know there's food trucks too that you can use your meal swipes at or your money whichever one I don't know. But the food is not bad um, If you don't go to those places that I just named there are like actual like the calf has like food um, that they have every week. So every week on Thursdays, there's soul food. So they have fried chicken, mac and cheese, and collard greens or cabbage or yams. So what do I rate it? I rate it... I think I rate it like a, like an 8. Because sometimes I don't like the way some of the stuff tastes. Just sometimes. But most of the time, it's pretty good. So I'm on like an 8.5 almost a nine yeah like they're they're up there it's not nasty so the next question is how did you decide which college was best for you and what do you regret or do you regret your school choice so i chose norfolk state because they had the major that i or the the program that i needed 
to get my master's in media and communications. My other choice was Rutgers, but Rutgers required GRE. This school didn't. So it was, I was leaning more towards this school. And then I was also leaning more towards the school because it's HBCU and I really wanted to go to HBCU for undergrad and I did not. So uh, I don't even think I mentioned that, but my my undergrad was at Rowan University and then some of it was at a community college that's connected to Rowan University. So I was definitely at a PWI, but my last year at Rowan University, I was at home because it was like during covid so i wasn't even on campus for all just once in a while. that's why i decided to come here i really really like it here it's like a new type of scenery it's different for me i mean i've been to virginia oh my school's in virginia if y'all don't know um i've been to virginia plenty of times because i have family out here but um i don't know just i like being out of jersey for like sometimes because i've been in jersey my entire life and yeah so the next question is how often do i see my high school friends yeah i don't see them a lot i see them when i go home sometimes for the most part i do not see my high school friends i don't see them that often but i do talk to them like here and there what's your favorite class this semester so right now i don't really have one i mean i could say global media is my favorite class right now because of the conversation that we had our last class i really enjoyed the conversation that we were having it was pretty interesting it was kind of funny so yeah i guess i'll say global media is my favorite right now what is your major so i already said my major is media and communications and my major when i was an undergrad was psychology what is your favorite part of coming to college so i was able to put this question because my entire undergrad i was at home i don't know if there's a lot of people like that i mean most of the people i know were not at home for their undergrad um or at least not their entire undergrad um so being here a beautiful thing i really do like it i really do like it here so i guess my favorite part of coming here is getting to like travel i don't i don't i don't know i don't know my favorite part of coming my favorite part of coming to college i guess really meeting new people i'm a really shy person so i'm trying to like get out of that y'all probably can't tell through this camera but i'm really shy like right now i really have one one friend i well one person i can really call my friend i've spoken to people here but like i really just have one friend the next question is should you save money or buy a college experience i wouldn't consider it like buying a college experience because you're not really buying the college experience you're more so buying your degree <laughs> but um yeah um i would say it really depends on the person because some people like they really college is really not for them um like they really believe that college is just not their thing not for them and some people really do like thrive without a college degree without going to college without any of that like just a diploma some people really do strive off that and that is great if that is you. I'm not gonna tell you whether to go to college or not, but for me, I believe that education is like really important. And then if you nowadays, unless some miracle happens and you're like, like you really know what you're doing, it's easier to get where you wanna be. This is my opinion, because I don't wanna wait coming for me. This is my opinion. Um, it's easier to get where you want to go if you have a degree for certain jobs though not everything certain jobs i feel because for example i had like when i graduated undergrad all i had was a psychology degree there's honestly not a lot i could have did with just a solid psychology degree so i had to get a master's in something 
in order to move on and then <clears throat> so when I originally applied for grad school I really still didn't know exactly what I wanted to do I knew that I wanted to be in me media and communications but I didn't know the exact job that I wanted and literally as soon as I came here I figured it out so it's just like I don't know I don't know it really depends on you it's saving money and then just going on about your life is what you want to do and that's what you do but I wouldn't consider it buying a college experience I don't see it that way I see it like um technically you're buying your degree but as time goes on you're networking you're doing a whole bunch of stuff you're going <clears throat> you're networking you're going out you're going out you're meeting new people you're doing fun things doing things that you've never done like stuff like that that i guess you're not buying that though like you're not that's not what you, you don't come here for i mean i guess you can say bruh i don't know i just don't like the way they worded that because it's almost like you're buying the experience just to like say you had the experience like i don't like how that was worded but it's really up to y'all uh, this is the path i chose and i feel like this is the path i'm supposed to be on um because so many things have happened where it just aligns like it just be like and it'd be out of nowhere and i'm just like wow like this is this is what i'm supposed to be doing and i'm glad i figured it out the next question is do you need a car at college so for me personally i do because <laughs> um when i first came here i did have a job um so i had to drive there um and that's still gonna be a thing for me i'm still gonna have i'm gonna have a job eventually and i'm going to have to drive there and then i feel like it's easier when you need groceries or if you just want to go somewhere you don't want to be in your room all day and you don't want to ask somebody who has a car to like take you wherever like you can just do it on your own so i do agree to i don't want to say need a car but if you're a person that like doesn't want to be like sitting in the house or sitting in the room all day stuff like that then yes you do but it also depends on how your college is set up like if you're a freshman like i know sometimes freshmen can't have cars on campus stuff like that so but i um i definitely have my car here i drove myself here so of course the next question is do i miss high school Do, does anybody really miss high school though like i don't know anybody that genuinely is like i miss high school like i want to go back to high school i can say like some aspects of it i miss maybe not having to pay for my phone bill and pay for my car note that would be why i miss high school more so i miss being that age i don't really miss high school no i don't really miss high school high school was just okay for me i feel like it wasn't like oh my god i miss it so much um i do miss 2016 though my my senior year was definitely definitely it mm -hmm. my senior year was definitely fun so i do miss 2016 but i don't miss high school like in all the next question is are my college classes hard so grad school i'm not gonna say i thought it was gonna be harder but because it's not easy it's like tedious like you just need to do the work you need to apply yourself and you will be perfectly fine like last semester my very first semester in grad school i got a 3.5 now when i tell you <clears throat> I've never got a 3.5. That's the highest GPA I've ever had. The highest before that was like a 3.3. It's still good. But just the fact that I did that well in my first semester is crazy to me. So I don't want to say it's hard. It's more so like you have to apply yourself in order to get the GPA that you want, the grades that you want, and eventually the degree that you want. So the next question is balancing fun and schoolwork so schoolwork when for me when i was an undergrad i was playing basketball as well 
so it was like starting from freshman year i was playing basketball so as soon as i started we always had um we always had study hall with the team so we all had to do our homework now because of that i do not procrastinate when i get an assignment i literally do it maybe a couple of days later but or i'll do it like as soon as i get it i never wait like last minute i used to in high school for sure i waited last minute in high school for sure and it was always like i hated it but i like i would do it anyway but once I got to college, that was over with. Like, having study hall, I believe, really helped me with that. Like, because it was, like, that time that was, like, set aside. Like, you're in study hall, you have to do the work. Like, why be in study hall and not do the work that you have to do? And then, because I was playing basketball, it was, like, when else will I have time to do this? So, I kind of have to do it. So, that um, really helped me out with procrastinating so balancing it with the fun that I want to have I always make sure I do my work ahead of time or I at least make sure I do it before the weekend comes or if I do it during the weekend I do it on a Sunday I always make sure that Friday and Saturday I'm good I don't have to do any work unless I have nothing to do then I will pick up my school work and I will do it but because I have class only on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, I really have a lot of time to do my work. You also wanna make time for like studying and stuff, like if that's something that you need to do. The next question is, how are you able to afford things in college? Yo. So, get a job, for sure. Really, the only thing you really need to afford in college is your books, probably if they're not covered um and then whatever stuff you be doing outside of school which is really up to you but to afford it you have to have a job really or at least be making some money some way the next question is how long is your commute to and from each class so i i'll say my compute i'll say my commute from my room to my class because i don't be going class to class I'm going from here to my class and from my class back to here. It's literally like, maybe it takes me like seven minutes to walk there, but that's if I'm just taking my time. I always leave like a half hour before class so that I can be there one time. What is something that no one told you about college that you wish they did? Um, I feel like when I came to, so when I first, first, first came to college, not this school, but just college in general, I thought I knew what I wanted to do. And I feel like, I don't want to say it was like forced, but it's like, you need to know what you want to do. And, and that's like the scary part of it, because it's like, if you're doing the wrong thing and then you end up changing your mind on what you want to do it becomes a little like scary and like shaky when i first got to college i originally wanted to do physical therapy. no i originally like first first thought was like um a sports sports i forget i think it was like a sports manager or something something like that it had to do with sports and then i switched to physical therapy what was it? I wanted, was it an athletic director? I really do not remember, bro. <laughs> but um, it was all new in sports. And my major when I first got into school was biology. So I majored in that for like a quick second. Then I switched it to psychology. When I switched it to psychology, I had also switched what I wanted to do. So then I also, or then I changed it to physical therapy. So I wanted to do physical therapy and I was majoring in psychology. Then I stuck with psychology though. So that never changed because I was started looking up things that I could do with a psychology degree. So I'm looking up stuff, 
I'm like, because physical therapy, anatomy, you have to pass. So for me, I'm taking anatomy and I'm not passing it. I took anatomy three times and didn't pass it. So I'm like, I really don't know what I want to do anymore because I can't pass this class and I need this class in order to be a physical therapist. So I changed it to occupational therapy in the midst of me still like retaking anatomy. So maybe like the second time I took anatomy, I changed it to occupational therapy and then I didn't pass it again. Then I tried to take it again, didn't pass it again. So then I'm like, I'm about to just graduate with my psychology degree and then like really like figure out what I want to do. So I graduated with my psychology degree 2021 and once I got it, I'm looking up stuff. I know that I wanted to work in sports. So that's still a thing. Still gonna work. That's what I want to do. I'm not gonna tell you exactly what I wanna do because I don't wanna like throw it out there and then it just doesn't happen. The ones who know know. So that like change it changes over time. So it's like it gets scary. What was the question? Because I feel like I'm like Okay. What is one thing? So I wish so it gets scary. So because of that, I wish that people would tell you like, you may end up changing your mind throughout this. Like this might not be something you like to do. Like the major that you choose or the career path that you think you wanna do, you might not wanna do it. And I just wish somebody would have said that to me because then I would have an open mind and be like, I probably, maybe I, I don't know. But I mean, that's something you kind of figure out on your own, I guess, but I still would have wanted like a heads up because I know I'm not the first person that like changed their major or change what they wanted to do. But yeah, it gets scary, especially when it's like crunch time and it's like you've been in school for a, a, a decent amount of time and you just want to graduate at that point. Yeah, so I wish that somebody would just tell me that, would have told me that. I mean, I still, I'm still doing good. I'm still, I now know what I want to do, but it like, it took some time. How do you meet your roommates? I probably should have ended on that last question, but this is the last question. I met them at school. My first day here, I... So I came January 13th. I came in the spring semester, which is like kind of rare. People don't usually start in spring semester, but I started in the spring semester because again, I graduated. I graduated in May and I kind of still didn't know what I wanted to do. Y'all just heard that whole spiel, so. I applied for the spring semester so I can give myself a little bit of time to like really figure this out. So I came here in the fall or the spring. So I came here in January because the spring semester starts like the end of January into February. So I came in January, came to the room. My one roommate that I'm like close with now, um, when I first came in, like she was coming out of her room and just like, hey, hey. That was really it for like a whole week. It's so bad because when I, so when I like met them, they had like called me out in my room like, uh, this is like a week later. Like I was here for a week. The whole time I was here, I didn't see them though. Like it's always quiet in here. It was never really anybody like around um, or everybody was in their rooms. I don't know what they were doing, but I know I was in here because I have no friends. I didn't know nobody. So I was like, Where, what am I going to do? Where am I going to go? I would go to like stores by myself. I mean, I still go places by myself, but like. If I didn't want to be in here, I would just like drive around, go to like the supply store or the mall or wherever. Just get out of my room. But um, the one day they like called me out, they like knocked on my door. I went out there to talk to them. And I'm like telling them like, I'm really shy. Like if y'all didn't call me out here, I probably, <laughs> that is so bad. That is so bad. I'm like, I probably would not have like, I mean, eventually, yeah, like now, definitely. But it's like, I was telling them, like, I have never had to make friends, like, on my own because I played sports my entire life. Not my entire life, but, like, I played sports for a decent amount of my life from, like, eighth grade. But, like, when you're younger, making friends is simple. So, eighth grade and on, I'm not, like, going up to people like, hey, you want to be my friend? Like, I'm not doing that. So... 
the way I made friends was from basketball. Like playing basketball, you that's easy friendships. Cause they're on your team. You're seeing them every day. You're hanging out with them every day. You're playing games with them. Like you're with them all the time. Especially when I was in college, like when I first when I uh, was a freshman and a sophomore and a junior. I mean, some of the people, because it was a community college, so most of the people I already knew. But there was new people that I met, and it's like, that that was my way of meeting them. I never would go up to somebody and be like, can you be my friend, or do you want to be my friend? Like, most of my friendships came from playing basketball. So I was telling them that, and I'm like, like, this is hard. Like, I'm grown. I'm 24. What do I look like? <laughs> Going up to somebody like, you want to be my friend? But yeah. So that's how I met them. I met them from my room. I really like it here. And this is gonna be like the start of my vlogs like at school. I'm like nervous to do it, but I'm gonna do it because I really wanna reach a thousand subscribers eventually. Praying before 2023. So this um this is gonna be the start. This is gonna be the first entrance into my college life away from home because I've been at home my entire college career. So for now. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I wanna see y'all in my next one. And if y'all haven't peeked, I've been posting every Monday at six o'clock. So I make sure I turn the bell notifications on because I never say that. But now I need y'all to like tune in for real. I need y'all to tune in for real. So make sure I hit that bell button. Make sure y'all hit that bell button right now. And make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'ma see y'all in my next video. Hey. I got diamonds doing since he's starting both ish. Dice rolling on the love, can't get stripped tonight.